In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the latest version of Wagme hooks with the latest version of Next.js. For Wagme, it's going to be version 2, and for Next.js, it's going to be Next.js version 14.1.4. If you've never heard of Wagme, it's a set of React hooks that lets you interact with Ethereum and the various smart contracts that are on Ethereum. So to get started, I'm going to just install the latest version of Next.js using the Next.js Create Next app. And I'm going to call it Wagme Next.js. I'm just going to use all the defaults here with TypeScript, ESLint, Tailwind, no source directory, and I am going to use the app router. All right, I have everything installed. As you can see, I'm on Next.js version 14.1.4, which is the latest version of this recording. And this is just the bootstrap template from Next.js. And now we're going to go through the Wagme hooks documentation. One thing to note is they do have a create Wagme command. So you can just npm create Wagme. And they do have a Next.js flavor. But I believe that one is currently Next.js 13. But I want to show you why Wagme and Ethereum wallets and stuff in general kind of don't really play well with Next.js. It's because Next.js, it's becoming more and more server side oriented with React server components and server side actions. But with Wagme and Ethereum development in general, you have to rely a lot on the browser, especially like if you're using a browser extension for a wallet, like a MetaMask wallet or a Rainbow wallet, those live in the browser. And having the server and the browser components talk to each other can become kind of a pain. I'm gonna stop the server and I'm gonna install Wagme vm2 and then the tan stack these are all the requirements for the wagme hooks so everything is installed i'm going to keep going with this manual installation so the next step is to create a config.ts and copy this stuff into it so i'm going to make a config.ts and paste that stuff down in there give it a save and now we need to wrap everything in a context provider and if you're doing this manually, this might trip you up if you're working with Next.js, but I'm gonna do it right here anyways, just, just so you can see what I'm talking about. So under the app, under the layout, we're gonna go ahead and wrap our children with the context provider. Now we're gonna bring in the imports from in here. Go up one more level for the config. All right, so now let's run the server again and we should be getting an error. Yep, so this is an error that you're gonna see if you try to do this with Next.js because the latest version of Next.js and the app router, these layout files, these are all server side rendered. And things in the Wagme provider, they're relying on the client side. So we can't just add it into here. What you're gonna wanna do is create a new file called providers, something like this. And you want to export a function called providers. And you'll basically go, we want to move these, the Wagme provider into here. And this is also gonna wrap some children. And just copy the children from here. Okay, and then we're going to want to copy in this part as well. All right, so we're going to want to make a provider component. But again, this is also going to be a React server component if you're using the app router with Next.js. So you're going to need to come up here and say use client. So now this makes it a client side React component. And now this is going to work with the Wagme hooks. So we're gonna delete this, and we're gonna delete this. We can delete this stuff right here. And what we're wanna gonna do is providers. And we wanna import providers. And I'm gonna import it like that. 
Now this file, this layout file, can be server-side rendered, that's fine. The providers is technically a React client component now. And now everything should be working. See, no errors. So that is one of the first gotchas if you're trying to install this with Next.js. Now we can keep going down the list. The next step is to set up the tan stack query. And that's like another provider. So we can add the same thing to our providers component right here. I'm going to copy just everything from here. So now we're getting the TanStack React query from TanStack, and we're making a query client, and we're making providers here. And now, since this is already in that client React client component, nothing should break. All right, cool. So now we're basically ready to use Wagme. So let's see if this works. We're going to make this profile component right here. So now if we go to the main page and import that profile component that we made here, we should be seeing it up. Okay, so here's another thing that just happened. See how it's giving me another error? So anytime you use hooks now, you have to make it a use client. So that's something I forgot. So that's why you may be seeing all these errors. So now we can see there's ENS name, but it's blank because we don't really have any of our wallets connected. I'm just going to copy my wallet address, and put it into the into the address field right here real quick. Just cause just so we know that it's working. So that's that address right there. And if I give it a reload, you can see that the ENS name does come up. It's going to look up the ENS name for that wallet address. So the next step we're going to want to do is going to enable this SSR under the config. We want to enable SSR to true because Next.js has server-side rendering. So we want to go to the config and make SSR to true. And there's one other thing we're going to want to do, which is enable these cookies down here setting up cookie storage because by default Wagme is going to use local storage which is a browser side thing to store like if you're connected or disconnected but since Next.js is server side first you're going to see like a flash of disconnected before you become connected. I'll, I'll show you what I mean real quick. Alright so I've added a couple more components. One is for an account so you can see if you have a wallet that's connected and it'll show you your account. So right now I'm going to connect the MetaMask wallet right here. And once I connect it, you can see my, my address is right here. But what's going to happen if you don't have that SSR stuff turned on is you're going to see how it, first it's going to flash. It's going to flash a disconnect. It's not going to know that you have your account connected. That's because all that information is stored on the browser side under local storage. And if we look actually right into the inspector under application, we can see that this Wagme store is what's storing those accounts. So under local storage and the Wagme store, this is what Wagme is reading when it first loads. But since Next.js is coming from the server first, that's why we get that flash of content. Now to fix that, we're going to set up this cookie storage right here. So what we're going to do is go into the config again and gonna copy this cookie storage and create cookie storage and paste that into there. So going to the config, I'm gonna bring in this cookie storage stuff. Paste that into here. So now we're telling the Agme config to use cookie storage instead of local storage. So the next step is to hydrate the cookie under the layout. So we're going to import these headers. So basically going back to that layout file where we had the providers, we want to import some headers. One is from next headers and this is the initial state of the cookie from Wagme. We want to import the config again. And we're going to want to 
pass this initial state into that providers component that we made from before. So what's happening is Wagme is going to be storing all that data as a cookie on the server side and we're getting that data using the next headers and pulling it off of there. So pulling it off to cookies from next headers. And then we're going to pass it to the provider. And we're getting a red line here, well, red squiggly, because we need to add this initial state to our provider down here. And we're going to need to, I think we can just do initial state and pass it in like that. All right, that should be everything. We're getting the initial state and we're passing it into the Wagme provider as the initial state. And now if we do a reload, you can see we don't get that flash. Up here we still get this flash because these these are not stored in the cookie. Uh, the, the types of wallet that you have in your extension, these aren't stored in the cookie. But whether you're connected or not and the account that you're connected with that is stored in a cookie, so now when I reload, you can see that there's not that flash of nothingness and then it shows up. Now it's persistent throughout the cookie, which makes it a lot better UI experience. Now from here on, you can go continue to use all the other hooks. Just make sure you add that use client whenever you're using a hook and everything should be working normally. Those were just some of the main gotchas when you're trying to install the Wagme with the next, latest version of Next.js. If you found this video to be helpful, give it a like and a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks.